What's up everybody, welcome into another video and welcome into another Pokemon Go daily adventure video. And to kick off this video, we actually have a Shadow Shiny Beldum check, which it's gonna be a shiny. It wasn't a shiny, 343 CP, weather boosted. No idea if that's any good, but we're gonna stop and check and we're gonna catch it and see if it's any good. For those who don't know, Shadow Beldum is one of the best Pokemon in the entire game. So a good one right here would be absolutely amazing. And it's trash getting transferred right now. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the wind. I have no control over the weather. I wish I could get a new camera with a better microphone and stuff like that, but I don't have the money for that. So if you guys wanna help support me, subscribe. That's the best way y'all can do that. And hopefully in the future I can get better equipment. And to start off this video, the other day, Pokemon Go released three codes for legendary counters with Regirock, Regice, and Registeel. So I've been saving those since yesterday to get these encounters because I wanted to get them in a video because it's about time that I get a shiny legend because it's been a cold streak and Regirock right now is going to be a shiny golden raspberry and shiny. Dang it, 1301, we'll check if that's any good in just a second. All right, so Regirock was caught, which I will have the codes in the description of this video for you guys if you have not claimed it yet. There will be a link as well to a tweet by Leak Duck. shout out to him for this information, where you can go and it'll take you to the Niantic website and you can claim it through that if you can't find the promo thing at the bottom of the shop. But Regirock, is it any good? It's gonna be absolutely terrible. We got a 98 the other day, so this one's probably gonna get transferred, but next encounter, Regirock. Regice, it's gonna be the shiny. I really want the Registeel to be shiny. I can you can't even tell if the shiny 1300. Probably not gonna be any good just like Reggie Rock, but we're gonna catch it and we're gonna see. Alright, so we caught the Regice and it's probably not gonna be any good just like Reggie Rock. Yeah, this one was a two-star. Definitely not gonna be worth the keep. But now the most important one, Reggie Steel, which is the most useful of the three, and I would absolutely love a shiny. And shiny. Oh. 1028, no idea if this is any good either, but we are gonna catch it, but not gonna complain about some free legends, especially ones that can't run away, so pineapple these ones, they're worth it. So we caught Registeel, 1028 CP, is it any good? Okay, that one's pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. And since the last time we raided Registeel, we had to transfer every single one that we had caught in that video. Link to that video will be in the description. Definitely worth a keep, but obviously, what's gonna be a Pokemon Go adventure video without a little daily incense action? Gotta get that Galarian bird, you guys know. First one is gonna be a Fero. Actually, no, that's a Pidgeotto. Even better. Pin up that real quick. Teddy or something. You know, one thing that kind of surprises me is the fact that I have never gotten a shiny off of the Daily Incense. That's a little disappointing, but you know what? Today is going to be the day we get the shiny off the Daily Incense on this very next spawn right here. Whenever it decides to spawn, and there it is, a shiny Mankey. Imagine I called that. That would have been amazing. 45 CP. Aaron? Meowth? Ooh, a scream. Squirtle on the daily incense, not gonna be a shiny. Mankey number two, not shiny. Picky pick. And we got our second bird of the video, a Pidgeot this time. Not a Galarian bird, not the bird we wanted. Ooh, we got a 5k egg hatch, what's it gonna be? Disappointment. And once again, we get another Pidgeotto. What is this daily incense right now? I'm just getting all the birds I don't want. And quite literally the very next spawn, another bird I didn't ask for or want to Staravia. Yay. You know, I think it might be because of the windy weather, but I'm only getting birds on the daily incense. We get a Pidgey. Once you guys see the recap, you guys are gonna understand that all I'm getting is birds and not the Galarian birds. And that Pidgey ran away, but it's okay because now that that Pidgey has been sacrificed, we're about to get a legendary Galarian bird on the very next encounter. Far from a Galarian bird, we get a Diglett? All right, at least it's not just a normal bird. D -d -d not shiny. And most likely our final spawn because there's five seconds left, a Padove. So we're gonna go through the IVs and all that stuff and the recap as soon as we catch it. And looking at our recap here, we caught 17 Pokemon and we walked 1,016 meters. How many were birds though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, only seven. Let's go over the IVs real quick. Some of this might not be from the daily incense so that I did catch stuff in between, but garbage, 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 garbage. Garbage, 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 trash, garbage, definitely garbage. Actually, that might be good for PvP, for Great League to be specific. Garbage, garbage, more garbage, some hot garbage, some very hot garbage. Squirtle, garbage, 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 more garbage, some hot garbage, some hot garbage, pretty hot garbage. And then our Registeel, which is the only good thing we've gotten so far. Fantastic. Oh, look, another bird, a Pidgeotto, which I'm honestly not too upset about these because I need the candies for evolutions because for my special research, 
universe that I have for my level up for level 43, I have to evolve 43 Pokemon, which I will be waiting for the Rayquaza to come into raids because you get double XP for evolutions, and I'm just going to be evolving the crap out of some Pidgeys. Gonna be so easy, especially since it's 12 candies to evolve a Pidgey. That's easy evolutions right there, and they are spawning like crazy right now. But next on the list to do, we have this Primal Rumbling, which we get this special little ticket real quick, because if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure you get to pick... Okay, I had mis... I am mistaken because I assumed this was for picking... Oh wait, yeah, you get to choose your side. Here we go. From February 17th to February... Oh, that's already started. I guess I'm... This is part of the event, but me growing up, I was a Ruby kid. I already have a Primal... Not a Primal Groudon, but a Shiny Groudon. I'm choosing Team Ruby. Let me know in the comments, guys, which side you guys are picking because... I would love to know that. But well, we are going Team Ruby for the event. Always gotta go Team Ruby. Come on, guys. Groudon is much cooler than Kyogre. And look at that. We got the medal for Pokemon Go Fest Hoenn Tour. I'm honestly so excited for that. We are less than a week away from Pokemon Go Fest Hoenn, the global event. I still don't think it's gonna be very good for shiny odds and stuff like that, but who knows? We'll see. You guys already know we gotta finish off the video with a raid. Of course, doing a re another Reggie Rock raid, which of course we do not have the shiny yet i don't know if you guys have noticed yet but the camera angle has been a little bit different recently and how it is right now well today not recently this is the first video i've done with it but i actually got a new tripod for my camera that is like a little flexible tripod so i can wrap it around stuff currently you guys are wrapped around a post on a bridge right now which this bridge is only going over grass right now so i don't know why this is even here but it's here so now i can do little angles and stuff like that a whole lot easier and it's a lot bigger than my normal tripod that i was using because it was literally Literally just like the size of my hand to hold it was like just a tiny little handheld thing so the angles are a little bit easier and better in my personal opinion it is gonna be a little bit of a short video because like there's not a whole lot going on in Pokemon Go right now I just wanted to get those encounters with the legends and stuff like that all over with but I'm gonna take this opportunity now to let you guys know you guys should follow me on Twitter and join my discord apparently my discord starting to form a cult around me uh, it's a little weird but um you guys are interested in that all the links to like my Instagram my discord my Twitter also gonna be in the description along with the code for those researches with the encounters with the Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and the Reggie Steel. But Reggie Rock goes down. Hopefully, now, hopefully, we can get the shiny. I, I believe this is probably weather boosted because that was 2173. No idea what the Hundo CP is because I don't remember what the 98 CP was from when we caught it earlier. But 10,000 XP go to summary and 13 balls shiny. <laughs> 2173, weather boosted, no idea what the hundo is, no idea what it is. We're gonna check real quick, see you guys in a second. All right, 2173, Reggie Rock goes down, missed a couple balls because he kept on jumping, but a praise, it's gonna be not that good. Definitely not the hundo, definitely not the 98 or anything like that, nothing close, but we got another Pidgeotto. What is with these spawns? I'm not even upset, like I said earlier. Either way, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Hopefully there is gonna be some stuff leading up to Pokemon Go Fest, the global event over the weekend, because right now there's really nothing happening in Pokemon Go at the moment. Actually, there will be. There will be Rayquaza raids, so look out for a Raid Until It Shines video on that one because I am getting that sh shiny Rayquaza one way or another. So keep an eye out for that. Probably will be either Thursday or Friday when that video comes out. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to keep up to date with that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!